intrusion detection and prevention system for production supervision in a small business based on Raspberry Pi and sort. A computer security system is a set of processes that are highly dependent of information technology personnel focused on cybersecurity. A cyber analyst is very important in the staff of any company. The collaboration of one of these specialists in a small company is an additional cost in terms of staff salary and uh, acquisition of tools it needs. For this reason, the the development of an intrusion detection and prevention system begins, which will not require a greater investment in the budget of small companies. This being a solid security stack that allows registration, visibility, and automatic response to possible threats on the network. Of course, can be remotely managed by and analyzed by a specialist. The annual cost of the full service is about 2 of 9 USD. The system is based on Raspberry Pi hardware and free Ubuntu server software. It's the operating system and SNORT is the intrusion detection and prevention system. Design size and cost. The IDS and IPS prototype design must meet the following characteristics. Size is very important since the device cannot be located in a rack in the server room because there is not. And additional power connections should not be installed and its installation should not require additional cost or specialized personnel. Okay, for this reason, Raspberry Pi is chosen. Since the device has length of 85 six millimeters width, 56 five millimeters and thickness of 11 millimeters. The cost of the equipment is much lower than other solutions. The model chosen for this research is Raspberry Pi 3B, but you can use Raspberry Pi 4. The figure, uh, you have the CPU, the RAM, wireless LAN, uh, Ethernet uh, interface, USB ports, the extended GPIO, the HDMI for uh, display, micro SD port, USB power, and figure shows USB Ethernet adapter connected to Raspberry Pi 3B. So you can connect an adapter to for additional Ethernet interface. The figure shows a network with Raspberry Pi IDS IPS device installed and consists of two interfaces. A one interface that is the connection to the internet and LAN interface that is the connection to end devices. Installation is very simple. This is the device, one interface to internet and LAN interface to the internal network. And these are the configurations for uh, Ubuntu server. Ethernet interface and Ethernet, Ethernet 0 interface and Ethernet 1 interface with IPv4 and IPv6 addresses. Wi-Fi, the device can also adopt another configuration with the Ethernet interface that will be the one interface and using the IEEE AO2.11 wireless Wi-Fi interface. 
this interface will be the LAN interface with a configuration of hotspot to perform the access point function for clients. This is the device, this is the access point for the clients and the Ethernet interface, the connection to Internet. This method can be implemented using a low-cost Raspberry Pi device. This configuration can be set on a branch office. 3G, 4G. Another very versatile configuration for a mobile branch or mobile teleworker is the one that uses 4G LTE interface. This will be the one interface to connect to the internet. It uses this, uh, this adapter that is the 3G, 4G interface and will connect to the 4G LTE network. And the access point to provide Wi Fi to wireless connection to clients. Okay, 4G LTE interface will be the one interface to connect to internet, while the LAN interface is based on Wi Fi wireless physical interface. In this way, it works as a mobile router. Okay, this is the mobile router to include 4g lte interface it is necessary to include raspberry pi 4 lte hat kit for an additional 107 usd mobile router configuration is very special because it works for ipv4 and ipv6 okay this is the configuration for ipv4 and ipv6 this interface rmnet data one is the one interface the 3g 4g interface the connection to internet ipv4 and ipv6 and this wlan0 is the access point for clients with ipv4 and ipv6 configuration for IPv4, it works as a router where the one interface is in a public subnet different from the subnet configured on the LAN interface. However, for IPv6, the most convenient configuration is the bridge switch, where the same IPv6 subnet is maintained on the one and LAN interfaces. On both interfaces, IPv6 uses the same subnet. Traffic monitoring on the IPS IDS device is shown in figure. Okay, this is the traffic. The interface Ethernet 0 is the one interface and Ethernet 1 the LAN interface. The capacity of one and LAN interfaces is 100 megabits per second. The average use of outgoing traffic from LAN network to one network is about 29 megabits per second, which uh, represents 29% of the interface's capacity. In the same test, the average of RAM is about 920 megabytes and remember maximum is 1024 megabytes and the average use of processor cpu is 5% notice that the ram is close to be exceeded however the configuration of additional 1024 megabytes swap in ubuntu server will allow the use of more clients and for better performance, it's possible to use another version of Raspberry Pi, for example, model 4B with 8 gigabytes of memory. Port scan attack. When laptop uses Nmap to make a port scan reconnaissance to try to get information from the router, packets should pass through the IDS IPS device. Then it can detect and log the activity 
one of the main logs is shown on table. Okay, the priority is one, the protocol TCP, the class web application attack, the IP addresses and ports. With the description is the scan possible Nmap user agent observed. The VPN proxy. When laptop uses Tor browser to access internet trying to avoid firewall rules implemented on the organization, packets should pass through IDS and IPS device, then it can detect and log the activity. One of the main logs shown on the table. Priority three protocol is TCP class miscellaneous activity, source and IP and the description SSL secure socket layer. The secure socket layer is used. The IDS will detect and log malicious activity, but IPS will detect, log and block malicious activity. Hardware. Hardware and software costs are shown. Raspberry Pi 3B43 USD the adapter 8 USD and total 51 USD. Annual cost for personal and business snore rule set. Okay, the personal snore rule set is 29, about 30 USD. Management, maintenance, and support 180 USD and total per year 209 USD. Okay, but this is the personal snort rule set. Personal snort does not refer to use of a single person or a single customer. It refers the use of a smart rule set for one device with applications for home and education. And this case is ideal for a small business. Okay, in case of business snore rule set, the cost is about 400 USD. Okay, uh, business store snort refers to the use of snort rule set for business, non-profit organizations, colleges and universities, government agencies, consultancies, etc. Where snort sensors are in use in a production or lab environment. This is the case for big business. The annual costs are about. 2 of 9 USD. This will permit a small business access a serious IDS IPS device and not cause a great economic impact. Conclusions USB Ethernet adapter and 4G LTE HATKIT module are interfaces that connected to Raspberry Pi 3B are very useful to connect the device on the organization's network. The average use of the outgoing traffic from LAN network to one network is about 29 megabits per second in test with five simultaneous clients on teleworking collaborative environment, which represents 29% of the interface's capacity. In this same test, the average of use of RAM is about 900 megabytes and the average use of processor is 5%. Then, for better performance, it's possible to use another version of Raspberry Pi. For example, Model 4B with 8 GB of memory. The IDS will detect and log malicious activity, but IPS will detect log and block malicious activity. Annual costs are about 209 USD. Business snore rule set is considered in case personal snore rule set is not enough. Thank you very much.